Right, so check it out. I just get done with the run, right? And I got cysts right there that I took out today. And my face is sort of healed. I'm happy about that. Anyway, I turn on YouTube and I see Ryan Upchurch posts a new video. So naturally, I click on it. In case you guys haven't been able to tell, I am a fan. Um, because it has like a red flag, so I'm like, oh shit, more stuff about fucking red herring Ronnie. Because we all know Ronnie's fucking a plan. He was put there to divert shit from what actually happened to Miss Kylie. And it's not about Ronnie. Ronnie, it's about Tony Dodge. So I'm sitting there watching and I find that I fuck it, dude, I, I have no words really. Tony Dodge conversing with somebody with a now deleted Instagram talk about, yeah, we can gangbang her. Six weeks ago. Tony fucking Dodge. Who are you trying to gangbang? You know what's fucked up? is if this does have any kind of significance to the Kylie Rodney case. That would be so fucked up. Like, disgusting. I mean, just talking about... And then the fact that when Ryan Upchurch called Zanna Mae a bitch for lying, Tony Dodge stood up for Zanna and was like, don't call her the B-word, don't call her the B-word. So in public, he's saying, oh, don't, don't call... Don't call her the B word, defending a female. But when the doors are closed, he's talking about gang banging females. Like, you exposed yourself real fucking bad, my guy. Oh, dude, never mind. Don't even. Ew, let's just ignore the fact that I said that. That's disgusting. You're you're fucking disgusting for that. Like, and then the response. Oh my god, the response when Ryan Upchurch confronts him about it. He diverts back to fucking elementary school tactics. Oh, your mom. We're talking about your mom. Is that a fake phone? Is that a fake DM? Is that, are, are your albums fake? Like, how old are you, Tony? You're, you've got to be in like your mid 50s for you to still be on that your mom shit. We're, we're fucking grown. That's why Ryan was just like, I'm 31. That don't bother me no more. And it, it doesn't, it doesn't bother anybody. Like, your mom, come on, Tony, come on. But who are you, who are you talking about? Because I guarantee you this female probably has no fucking clue that you're talking about her wanting to gangbang her. Like, why won't you be honest? You have, you, you had so much respect for Zanime and you didn't want anybody calling her a bitch. Why won't you be honest about who the female is you're trying to gangbang? Let her know. Why don't you let her know how exactly how you're talking about her? It's fucking nasty, bro. It's disgusting. And the dumbass exposed himself. Like, what the fuck? Like, instead of being just normal about it and saying like, oh no, some fucking guy was like spamming me. He's not not an Instagram like some guy was just sending me some bullshit so I blocked him no you didn't do that he said he said I don't feel like I need to explain myself when you're talking about someone who's deceased and something like that pops up yeah you really should you really should explain yourself even if it's okay if you're innocent and you have nothing to hide you would not be so so, uh, what's the word? Um, where you don't want it? Like, you don't want to do something? Against? No, that's, that's, that's a more fucking polished type of word. But you would be not, you wouldn't be so against clearing yourself. So the fuck what if you're a sexual deviant? I mean, if the female's in on it, hey, you know what? Yeah, it's a consensual thing. So what? Look at what's going on, dude. We fucking, there's no such thing as, the, the, the whole concept of marriage nowadays is pretty much fucking out the window. Like, so what? 
But the fact that you don't want to explain it and you didn't, like, the way you handled it, Tony Dodge, you look real fucking suspect now. Like, you look like a fucking pervert. You look like a sexual deviant. You look as though you're having conversations about a teenager who's no longer alive. Like, in the military, we say perception is reality. And me looking at it looks pretty fucking bad, bro. Looks not even pretty bad. Looks real bad. Like, you you fucking, you really need to say something because, ew. Good on you for catching that shit too, Ryan, because he said like 99% of the people saw it and the 1% that didn't see it just don't want to see it. I'm going to be honest, I was part of that 1%, but not because I didn't want to see it, but because I'm fucking, I have a hard time seeing. I'm supposed to be wearing glasses. So, oh, and if you guys want to go check it out uh, on Tony Dodge's page, you can't. The video's private. So not only did he not answer the question when multiple people confronted him about it, he's hiding it now. Why? Innocent people don't have to hide anything, right? 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 <laughs> I'm, dude. This whole Kylie Rodney thing has gotten so out of hand. I'm still upset that people are arguing about it. Because, I mean, she doesn't deserve that. But I also understand where Upchurch is coming from when he's trying to figure it out. And I think a lot of people are just so fucking okay with just taking whatever answer they're given. It's like, like if I were to tell you, hey, the sky's green, you'd be like, no, the sky's blue. I tell you, no, the sky's green. You know the sky's blue. But then after a while of hearing it, you're just gonna be like, okay, I guess the sky is green. Like without even asking me, hey, why do you think the sky is green when you can look up and see it's blue? Tony, come on. You just, you gotta fucking... If you're, like I said, if you're a sexual deviant, fucking whatever. That's your life. You just, that's all you gotta say. If you're innocent, just fucking tell the story. Tell the truth. Let it out. The truth shall set you free. 